South Korea's second quarter economic growth came in weaker than most analysts expected. The MERS outbreak, coupled with weak exports, dragged gross domestic product down to a six year record low. The economy had already been struggling before the virus, but consumer spending and the important tourism sector were hit particularly hard. A strong currency has also made it difficult for exporters to compete on international markets. Uber said it would start delivering products in addition to car service. The ride-hailing app announced a deal with Xiaomi to deliver the new Mi Note handset to buyers in Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. The San Francisco-based firm is planning to turn its massive fleet of active drivers into a same-day delivery business that not only transports passengers, but also goods. Australia and New Zealand banking group ANZ is raising rates for mortgages on investment properties. The news comes a day after regulators ordered banks to increase their cash reserves. The move also follows warnings that tighter loan standards are needed to re prevent a housing bubble in Sydney. This is Pamela Ambler. Global Business continues right now.